Hello, welcome to week four of class. This week we finally get to talk about computer technology specifically. And the chapter you'll notice is a lot more technical. I do love this textbook, however, in the fact that it does focus so much on teaching and learning. First, in the first two chapters, and then the third chapter really starts getting into technology and helping you build your understanding and your skills with computer technology. Um, one thing I wanted to report from last week is the quiz grades uh, improved significantly so hopefully you're getting more comfortable with the quizzes and the average score last week was eight, a little over eight so that's really good. Uh, I don't know if that was because you were more used to it or is easier or if you um, studied by going to that review or the practice test. Anyway, this week, um, to support your learning about Chapter 3 concepts, there is this handout that you're going to create in Word that you're going to submit to me, and I'd like you to make it kid-friendly. So you're making a handout for kids, and when you do create that, just keep in mind for kids you want to use graphics and um, things like these have you you need you should explore with the smart art or shapes um, when you do these when you do when you make this handout you could see that there's some really cool um, shapes to help you show relationships between things like input or output devices or different storage devices um, so have fun doing that. Also this week, the lab is pretty easy. It's about the web, but there are a couple things I want you to pay attention to. One is I'm going to have you take a screenshot or capture of your bookmarks to show me that you've organized them uh, properly. Basically, what um, part of the lab has you do is create a folder and I just right click here on the bookmarks and I put new folder and you could put must view let's say you're creating a folder for your students um, related to the Oregon Trail and you want them they have to view these and another um, let's say another folder let's put this at the top I'm just clicking and dragging another folder you want to put um, extra credit so I right click again I, t I label this folder extra credit or if you have extra time you could look at these so I'm organizing the computers in the classroom under these two categories now all you need to do after you've saved some bookmarks, um, let's look at let's look at the bookmarks menu here. You could see that there are some unsorted um, from my bookmarks, and all you need to do to move them into a certain folder is click on it and drag it into the folder. Um, you could even by double clicking that I opened it and I could even change the name to put well this happens to be eSchool News so and there you go so now when I close this and I go up to bookmarks I could have must view eSchool News extra credit nothing there you can see I've organized some other folders this way when you have a bookmark um, when you just bookmark sites it's so convenient to bookmark them when you're looking at them but you don't you want to organize your bookmarks so it doesn't go all the way down the page and ha they're all unorganized and they don't really meet your purpose so to save time I'm gonna have you not only look for certain websites but then organize your bookmarks well, I hope you have a great week, and I will see you online.